Sunshine as well, Bree, will make it great to go walking, which is very perfect for today. Of course, it's Thursday, so we're once again teaming up with Humphreys Diabetes Center from St. Luke's. We've been doing this for several months now to follow some weight loss challengers in their journeys to make healthy lifestyle changes. Wendy Verplugen is the challenger joining us once again today. Thanks for Thanks having Thanks for being me. here early. Along with her is Matt Booth. He is a doctor of physical therapy at Therapeutics Associates Physical Therapy. Yes. Thank you for joining as well. well. And you two have been working together lately. We have. Unfortunately, you did have a, a little boo-boo, <laughs> let's yes. just say. Explain, explain first of all your um, your exercise routine and kind of uh, what brought you to have physical therapy. Well, I do several days a week um, of cardio activity and strength gym, training. Right? Yes, and on my own on the green belt, walking at lunch and things like that. Today's a nice day for it green is. Belt it is, and I'll be doing it. Um, but I, I about four weeks ago, I guess it's been now. Just after my last appearance, actually, I was working with uh, Kathy at Axiom, and we were doing a functional movement exercise where she had us lay on our backs and then get up to a standing position without using our arms. So we had to cross our arms, and that created the need to bend your legs around underneath you and pretzel-like pretzel yeah. to try to lift your body up. Um, and I strained my hamstring muscle, so behind my Ooh. leg, and uh, thought it was a knee, but it turned out that through working with Matt, it wasn't my knee at all. It was a it was a hamstring, and it was a muscle strain. And Matt, I'm assuming this perhaps might be one that you see a lot for people who are who are getting into workout routines and that kind of thing. Yeah, we see a lot of muscle strains, you know, especially you know, the first part of the year. Um, you know, January people are working out a lot. February we start seeing those people that you know something has been pulled at the gym or they're working so hard they're creating a tendonitis and and Very that common. and that of course is something that you're addressing with physical therapy and one thing that I want to ask obviously you you at some point realized that you needed to get some help get some right. physical therapy and I wanted to ask you um, Dr. Booth what what is that point for most people when do you know that you probably should get some help you know, I think people can be looking at working through soreness. So you should expect soreness if you haven't been working out, but that should go away in a couple of days. If something is continually there, it doesn't matter if you rest or the same thing keeps popping up or is causing some pain that limits your ability to work out, that's the time to be asking for help. So, of course, cor important things to keep in mind. I, I feel like some people might be hesitant to get help. Other people maybe just don't know when they need to get help. So it's good mm -hmm. to know that recurrence is definitely a sign that, hey, something is not right here. And Wendy, thanks so much for sharing what you've been doing. Sure. We've got an interesting thing coming up because in our next little segment with you guys in about half an hour, we're going to kind of go through the motions of how you can help find out what the real problem is. Like you said, you thought it was a knee injury you had turned out to be hamstring. So it'll be pretty pretty interesting to see how you work on a daily basis. $1,000 Treasure Valley Weight Loss Challenge is still going on and we're catching up once again with one of our contestants, Wendy Verplugin, along with Dr. Matt Booth, who is from uh, Therapeutics Associates Physical Therapy. And we were talking a little bit earlier in the show about the point when perhaps maybe you need to go get some physical therapy if you've gotten some injuries from working out. Case in point, Wendy, you had an injury that at first, what do you think it was? I thought it was my knee. I thought I just twisted it wrong and that I sprained my knee, perhaps. Which I'm sure that often happens mm -hmm. when people are working out. So you went to Therapeutics Associates. You ended up working with Matt and interesting things happened in the development of your right. so-called knee injury. Right. We found out that it wasn't my knee. After the first session, um, I went for the, my second session and Matt came and joined the session and we talked about it a little more. He had me show him with some physical movement exactly where the pain was um, and then he keyed in on on what I was showing him. And that's the really interesting part. You've been trained on some pretty some pretty cool stuff here because you've been telling me that even the actual movements of how people describe their pain helps you. So let's go over physically how you were able to determine, no, this isn't a knee injury, this is hamstring. The way we work with patients within, this, it's called the fascial distortion model. Um, we're one of only three physical therapy clinics in the nation that have been trained in this. It's mostly taught to physicians, but we'll ask our patients, can you move? Can you show me where it hurts? So I'm going to have Wendy you know, bending or squatting. Sure. So when I first came in, I had pain uh, up above here, and it was a pulling sensation. But I also felt like I had a knot in the in my the center of the middle of my thigh. Mm -hmm. um, and and, then and so I'm watching those hand signals <coughs> that the pulling and the knot, those are two different things. So when she says the pulling and she's drawing lines, I know to be searching for a certain type of restriction in the tissue. Interesting. And then when she does this fist, and she says it's a knot there, there's going to be a different type of restriction, and there's techniques that match that. Which, of course, is not anything that she's consciously doing, but your subconscious is describing these movements, and you're able to pick up on that. Right, and people are very accurate, actually, with this subconsciously. And it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter what culture you're brought up in, 
the hand signals will really be the same for the same type of problem. So drawing lines is different than a knot, is different than a single point right on a tendon insertion. What would a, what would a single point mean, for example, just as a, as a different example? So in traditional orthopedics, we would say you know, where a point is right on a bone, that could be a tendon or ligament insertion. So that could be a strain or sprain. Interesting. And then if it's really tight and someone's just pushing on the tissue, well, the tissues are tight. They may be really adhered together. They need to be loosened up. Wow, interesting psyche. You, you kind of don't think about that psychological aspect. And like you said, it's in your subconscious that you're doing that. And Wendy, you can go ahead and sit back up. Um, some of that stuff is how you were able to show that. And it would be the same for anywhere on the body. Arms, neck, back, I assume would be the same, right? Right, so someone says they have a headache, and you know, it could be, well, my headache is here, or my headache comes around the top. I'm watching those hand signals, because that tells me a different story. This is different than this is different than someone saying, my, my headache is here. They're Grabbing at it. They're pulling at their hair. Interesting. Or, or someone that's, that's sweeping through their arm, that's different than, than just pointing at a couple of places or pointing on a line. And so all of these techniques, yeah. folks like Dr. Booth are, are watching that, able to help uh, diagnose it. And fortunately for you, it's worked. You, it you, does work. You're, you've yeah. gotten relief already, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. After the first session. And yeah, I know you're still working out at Axiom yeah. and yeah. doing a lot of walking on the green belt as absolutely. well. So your lifestyle is continuing to have those positive changes and habits now. Yes. So we congratulate you for that. Thank, Thank you both you. for joining us once again.